Do you ever wonder what kind of properties celebrities own? We often catch glimpses of their glamorous lifestyles on social media, but have you ever considered the real estate they call home? We'll take you on an exclusive tour of six famous properties owned by some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry. From towering penthouses to sprawling estates, each property has a tale to tell. Join us as we unlock the secrets of these hidden gems and gain insight into the minds of the celebrities who have chosen to call them their own. First up, the Neverland Ranch. Owned by none other than the King of Pop, Michael Jackson himself, Neverland Ranch is a magical two 700-acre estate nestled in Los Olivos, California. Inspired by the enchanting island from Peter Pan, this extraordinary property feels like something out of a fairy tale. The main house is a sight to behold, with its majestic old-world architecture. It stands proudly at the heart of this whimsical paradise, making you feel like you've stepped into a different world. Surrounded by lush gardens and beautiful greenery, the property also offers guest houses, a swimming pool, a basketball court, and a tennis court. It's where luxury, leisure, and fantasy come together in perfect harmony. A fitting house for a legend. Second, welcome to Graceland. Situated in the heart of Memphis, Tennessee, Graceland isn't just a house. It's a tribute to the era of rock and roll and cultural revolution, one that was led by its owner, Elvis Presley. Nestled within 13.8 acres of land, this colonial revival-style mansion stands as a proud symbol of the life and times of its once owner, the legendary Elvis Presley. But let's shift our focus from the king himself to the palace he called home. Upon entering Graceland, you're greeted by a long tree-lined drive leading up to the mansion. Aesthetically pleasing, it's easy to understand why this vista was chosen as the approach to the house. As you get closer, the mansion's southern charm becomes more apparent. With its stone facade and colonial pillars, it exudes an air of old-world elegance that immediately sets the tone for what's within. Stepping inside, you'll find rooms that seem frozen in time. Each space within the house tells a story, reflecting Elvis's personal style and preferences. From the lavish living room with its peacock-stained glass windows to the famous jungle room with its green shag carpets and Polynesian influences, the interior design is a trip down memory lane to the eclectic tastes of the 70s. In the years since Elvis's passing, Graceland has transformed from a private residence into a public museum. Now a national historic landmark, it attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors each year, each one eager to get a glimpse into the life of a man whose music defined a generation. While Elvis might have left the building, his spirit lives in Graceland. Third, Oprah's Promised Land, located in Montecito, California's peaceful high-end community, the Promised Land is an incredible property that is almost as iconic as its owner, Oprah Winfrey. It sits on a huge 42-acre lot and is a wonderful escape from busy city life while still being close to city facilities. What makes it really special is its location, its beautiful design, and its top-notch features. The fantastic views are the first thing anyone entering would notice. The estate looks out onto the sparkling ocean on one side and the impressive mountains on the other. It's like living inside a lovely piece of art. The main attraction of the property is its massive 23,000 square foot mansion. This mansion is a perfect example of elegance and class. It feels welcoming and homely. Every room is carefully designed with every piece of furniture, light fixture, and accessory chosen to bring together comfort and style. The outdoor area of the property is just as amazing as the inside. There are well-kept gardens full of colorful plants, making it a peaceful place to go for a walk or to sit and think. The estate also has hiking trails, so you can adventure without going too far from home. Before we move forward, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Now on to the next topic. Fourth up, Giorgio Armani's Winter Getaway. Giorgio Armani's Winter Getaway near St. Moritz, Switzerland is exactly how you'd think it would be. This property is unique for its special features and meticulous design, reflecting Armani's signature style. The house's exterior is marked with traditional scratchwork decoration known as scraffito, added by Armani, providing a charming blend of Swiss tradition and Italian flair. This alpine abode's transformation is a masterclass in Armani's aesthetic. The fashion designer replaced the traditional golden pine with dark mahogany, turning this St. Moritz retreat into a couture take on the traditional alpine style. 
The home, a 17th century barn adapted into a high ceilinged living room, offers a captivating view through a glass curtain wall that frames the stunning Alps. Inside, the living room is a visual feast with mahogany beams framing walls of Marmorino Veneziano, a plaster treatment resembling limestone. This fusion of rustic and refined resonates throughout the property. A portion of the living room, known as the Winter Garden, showcases Armani's design prowess with furnishings from Armani Casa, including lantern lamps, sofa fabric, and a rug. The same area hosts a table with a bronzed brass base and director's chairs clad in Bulgarian leather, all curated by the firm. The kitchen, conceived in collaboration with Multani, shares the same thematic mahogany detailing and Marmorino Veneziano, making it a stylish spot for culinary adventures. The lounge also carries the Armani Casa touch, with a felt-top card table, director's chairs, lamps, and a pendant light, exuding a relaxed luxury. A journey up the mahogany staircase, flanked by shoji-style sliding doors inset with acrylic, leads to the master bedroom. A fur coverlet drapes the designer's Armani Casa bed and a mahogany side table with a black nickel base. An Armani Casa nickel desk with an embossed leather top is framed by floor lamps and Japanese tansu chests, adding an intriguing eastern touch. Armani is as Armani does, and he did this house justice. Do us some justice and throw us a like on this video. Now let's get back to the tour. Fifth, home of the Tribeca Penthouse, Beyonce and Jay-Z's Tribeca Penthouse in New York City is as incredible as the couple is extravagant. Housed on the seventh floor of a converted 1929 brick warehouse building, the penthouse is a testament to the blend of modern luxury and vintage charm. Spanning an expansive 8,000 square feet, the penthouse is spacious and airy, providing ample room for the couple and their family. But the piece de resistance is undoubtedly the outdoor space, an additional 3,000 square feet of terraces. This offers a private retreat in the middle of the bustling city and is a perfect setting for hosting intimate gatherings or simply enjoying the city's skyline. In fact, this very penthouse was the backdrop for Beyonce and Jay-Z's private wedding ceremony, an intimate affair with just 40 guests. The occasion was even more special, with 70,000 dendrobium orchids flown in from Thailand to adorn the space. This detail speaks volumes about the couple's taste for exquisite beauty. It's been some time since Jay-Z purchased this property in 2004 for $6.85 million, but it appears the unit is still in his ownership. With its elegant blend of old-world allure and contemporary comfort, the penthouse stands as a piece of New York City history that Beyoncé and Jay-Z have come to call home. Last but not least, Mark Anthony's getaway. It rains a lot in the Dominican Republic and Mark Anthony is there in his estate saying, let it rain over me. The property features a main house, guest bungalows, two swimming pools, and a man-made beach, all linked by lush pathways. Although the estate is inland, it exudes a beach-like feel thanks to the imported sand covering the ground. Anthony's vision for the property transformed it from a simple house with a pool into a luxurious compound. The singer collaborated with local architect Dino Barr to create unique structures throughout the property, incorporating indigenous materials like eucalyptus wood and coral stone. The guest quarters, reminiscent of Maldives or Bora Bora resorts, encircle a sand-bottom pool. Each room in the estate is thoughtfully designed with custom furnishings and Balinese and Indonesian furniture. Guests adopt a relaxed lifestyle, often spending days unwinding in the peaceful environment and gathering in the evenings around a 20-foot-long teak dining table next to the pool. Anthony's Dominican Republic property is a sanctuary for relaxation and shared experiences. As we wrap up our exploration of celebrity-owned properties, it's clear that these luxurious homes hold hidden treasures. In the ever-changing world of real estate, looking closely at each property and appreciating its unique charm is crucial. These celebrities have a lot of money and are not afraid to splash it on luxurious properties. So what's your take on all of this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned for more.